Hey everybody, all right, here we go. It is now time for your persuasive speeches. All right, very much looking forward to these. Uh, it, it's going to be really cool. I mean, basically, you're going to be able to have the ability to get up on your soapbox and espouse your views. All right, and you just might get a good grade for it. All right, don't forget, if I have not seen your specific purpose statement yet, you cannot do your speech or I will not grade it. All right, so. What I want you to do is make sure you've got your recording device at eye level. Now, I've got a couple little uh, stacks of, I guess these are little cases here that we keep our shoes in. And that's where I've got my recording device. I'm using a Chromebook that was issued to me by the school. Um, and that's what I'm recording on. I'm in my, uh, my bedroom, uh, my bedroom, duh, my uh, kitchen dining room uh, combo. Okay, try to make sure you have something in front of you like a table. Okay, if you want, you take like something that you can stack up, put your recording device on there on a dining room table, and this way you have the table in front of you while the recording device is sitting in the middle of your table. Uh, but you can stand there, you can refer to your outline while you're delivering your speeches in case you have to. Have your hands free. Okay, make sure that you're making eye contact. Now, I'm going to go ahead and send you what would be the grade sheet for the persuasive speech. Of course, I'm not going to be uh, giving each and every one of you that sheet, but I'm going to be basing my grade on how well you cover what's on that sheet. So I'm going to make sure to send that out to you. I'm also going to send you out a sheet that covers uh, what is very important, a key element in order to persuade your audience. See, in order to influence the opinion, attitude, and or behavior of your audience. In order to get people to think and feel the way you do, share the same opinion or idea, or actually get people to do something you want them to do, you must establish a believability in the eyes of the audience that who you are and what you're saying is true, right, and or correct. And when you establish that believability, you have then established credibility. And you have to establish credibility in order to influence people. All right. Because people are not just going to do something because, well, I want you to agree with me that this is true. Why? Because I said so. No. Well, of course. You got to have that credibility. And earning credibility, what really helps is the information that you use as evidence to back you up from your three sources. All right? So you want to make sure you earn that, you try to earn that credibility. Some of you will already have it. Uh, some of you, like say for example, if it's charisma, uh, it's something that you're born with, it's something innate in you. Uh, there are some people who can establish credibility with charisma and others who never will be or never will be able to. So um, I'm going to send you a sheet about that. You don't have to do the exercise for credibility if I leave it there. I'm going to try to erase it. Uh, but sometimes I'll send you something, I don't update it. and So if I forget to take the uh, assignment off the credibility sheet, don't worry, you don't have to do anything for credibility. I just need your, 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 your speeches. Okay? And I need your speeches by Thursday, April 27th? Is that what it is? Hold on. I'm going to go check the calendar. Hold on. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. It is Thursday, April 28th. That's when your speeches are due. Thursday, April 28th at 8 p.m. Okay? I will not accept a speech after that. Too many of you are getting stuff in late and you're getting a full week, week and a half to do your assignments. Even if it's five days, how do you not do it in five days? You can do it at 4 o'clock in the morning. You can do it at 10 o'clock at night. You can do it at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Whenever you have free time. All right? And if you have absolutely no free time, why are you taking a, a speech class? So, you have until Thursday, April 28th at 8 p.m. to get me your speech. Remember, I want you to record it. Use a free YouTube account. So, all you have to do is send me the link. And, of course, include your full content outline. Now, remember, I sent you four. Two speeches of conviction, two speeches of actuation. The formatting, everything's pretty much the same. If you look at your grade sheet, it's pretty much the same. But the one thing that might be different is the fact that I'm looking for you to have a little more emotional attachment to your topic. See, we have to see, we have to hear, we have to feel
that you have an emotional atta attachment to your topic in order to help influence us. But now, remember, yes, emotional attachment, just make sure it's a controlled emotion. Don't yell and scream. Don't cry sobbing away. You just want to make sure it's enough of an emotional attachment that we can see and feel how strongly you are in your beliefs that we should agree with you on this or that we should go ahead and do whatever it is you want us to do. All right? But I want you to relax, and I want you to have fun with this. Remember, this is a persuasive speech based on a topic of your choice. And I've seen some excellent topics, and I'm really looking forward to these speeches. All right? So I've got the grade sheet attached. I've got the credibility sheet attached. All I need now is by Thursday, April 28th at 8 p.m., I just need to have your speeches. And what that means is your speeches are due at 8 p.m. that Thursday, the next Friday, or even over the weekend or something, or maybe the, the following Monday, whenever it is, you'll have your last assignment. And guess what? And then the semester is over. It's going to happen that quickly, people. So hope to see you soon, and I look forward to these speeches.